Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is a hydraulic ram pump. It's a water pump that needs no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing and falling water. So how this thing works, you've got a drive pipe that goes to your water source. That water falls down head pressure into the pump, activates this waste valve, which creates a pressure wave. That pressure wave is sent back up the pipe, but also into the inline valve, which is right here. And that water accumulates in here, builds up pressure, which then sends water up and out the delivery pipe over here. Now, whenever that water pressure wave is sent back up the pipe, the waste valve falls back down again and waits for the water to come back again. And it will just cycle back and forth 24 seven until either you stop it or somebody else does. All right, today's video is gonna be a little bit special. We're going to be installing this ram pump floating on this pond behind me. It's a very unique install. Now, quick disclaimer, the ram pump must have the water source coming from above the pump. You can't just set this into the water and hope that it's gonna work. So you'll notice I've got a little waterfall back here. That water is going to fall into the pump and activate the waste valve while this thing is floating on top of the lower pond. So just a quick disclaimer, before you watch the video, the water has to come from above the pump. All right, let's go over here and get this thing installed. The first thing I wanna do is use some of this plumber's strap or plumber's tape to connect the ram pump to this board. And the board's gonna act as a way of keeping the ram pump upright, but also give us these wings to mount our floats underneath. So I'm just gonna use one piece of this strap right here down the middle, and that should keep this upright good enough for this test. For the flotation, I'm gonna use these two liter bottles, and I'm going to just use some tape to keep them up under here and I think that's going to be sufficient to float this ram pump. So let's find a way to get this tape to hold the two liter bottles onto this board. I think something like this should be sufficient. Pretty good raft. We have the floaties up under our half inch ram pump. Now in order to get the water to the pump, we need a drive pipe. And that is what this 20 foot half inch PVC pipe is for. So the first thing I wanna do is attach this piece right here to the ram pump on this ball valve. This is the pond we're gonna be floating the ram pump in. And here's our source water up here on this side. So in order to get water into the drive pipe, I need to have a pipe going down into the water up here, come up and over this little spillway, and then down there to where the ram pump will be. So I've got a little piece connected over here that should allow us to do a couple of things. If I thread this on right here, I can open this valve and close this valve to fill the pipe with water. Then I can close this and open this and it will siphon water up out of the pond into the drive pipe and then down to the ram pump. In order for the ram pump to work properly, you have to have a delivery pipe going uphill. This will allow back pressure to push back down onto the pump and keep it cycling. So to do that, I've got a garden hose connector that I'm gonna be plugging into here and plugging this up to the ram pump. So let's do that real quick. I'm gonna take the other end of my delivery pipe and walk up the hill some and put this into a tree so that it will have enough lift to keep water pushing back down on the pump. I believe it's time for us to set the ram pump into the water and see how well this is going to work. I've got the drive pipe closed off here at the pump, so we will have to pull this out again here in just a moment 
to turn that back on. I brought a sandbag to put over the drive pipe to keep it from falling out of the water. But first of all, we've got to put water in the drive pipe. So to do that, I'm just going to take this little cup here. And I'm gonna slowly pour water into the pipe until it fills up. We'll have to pull it out one more time just to turn it on. Hopefully we can get enough water in there to uh, begin the siphon. I'm gonna close off the pipe that's going down to the water and then open this one right here so that we can take this water here, clean out my cup a little bit, and just pour it in there. Might take a second to get that air to bubble out. I now have the pipe full. I've got both of these valves cut off. I'm going to try to lift the pump up out of the water and get that other valve open and set it back down so that it can start the siphon over this little spillway. Luckily we have the delivery pipe here that can be used to pull the pump back up out of the water for a second. I'm going to try to lift it up here onto the edge. Yep. So as you can see there are definitely some complications to having a floating ram pump. Both of those valves are still closed, so this should not drain all the water back. So hopefully whenever this valve right here is opened, water will rush down to the pump and that other valve should uh, slam closed. Let's see if it happens here. Ready? Yep. We got it to close. Nice. Exactly what we wanted. As you're enjoying this floating ram pump video, I wanted to offer you a $10 off discount code for the Brunt Workwear Ring Low Boot. The discount code works for any of their boots, but uh, this is the model that I have. Now the Ring Low took about 30 to 40 hours to break in so that it's nice and comfortable, but I've been wearing it for about six months now and it has been really nice. The low version is not waterproof, the upper version is, and they have several other boots as well. But I have a discount code and a link to their website down below if you want to get $10 off a good pair of boots. All right, back to the video. The next task here with the Ram Pump is probably the most time consuming of the whole process and that is filling up the delivery pipe with water. So you can see the pipe is right there on the pump and it needs to fill all of this garden hose until it has enough back pressure to keep the pump going up this hill. So I need to sit and push the waste valve probably a thousand times right over here with this long stick until I have enough water in that hose. Now I may uh, decide to cheat a little bit take the garden hose over to the waterfall and fill it up real quick. But um, that is how you would typically do it, is just push the waste valve over and over again. I was able to get enough back pressure in that delivery pipe to get the pump cycling. So as you can see, water is pouring down that drive pipe, going through the waste valve and closing it. And then it opens back up again and does the same thing over and over again.
The pump has now been cycling for about 15 minutes. Let's walk up to the top of the delivery and see how much water is coming out up there. So the delivery pipe sneaks around over here and goes up the hill to the tree, which is right about here. So let's walk up there and see what we got. The ram pump is right down in here, running off of about two and a half feet of head pressure drop into the pump, lifting water up about 15 feet here. And here is the output. Now it's not much because of a couple of different reasons, but we do have water up here at the top. Is there a practical application for a floating ram pump? I feel like there might be. Let's say you had a pond like mine with a spillway that takes water to a lower pond, and that's the only drop you had on the whole system, then you could float a ram pump in that secondary smaller pond while pulling from the top lake or whatever your water is coming from. But there are a few drawbacks to having a floating ram pump. The drive pipe normally needs to be as rigid as possible and as locked down to the ground as possible. And that's because when the pressure wave is sent back up to the source and then back down to the ram pump, you wanna have as much of that energy going in a straight line as possible. And whenever you have no support on your drive pipe, it will bounce and lose a lot of that potential. So if I were to take the same ram pump and put a drive pipe on solid ground, we would have almost twice the water up top that we currently do. So there is definitely a drawback to that. Another drawback is accessing the pump. You saw uh, I have a stick over here that I'm having to reach down and click that valve. And then if I ever have to access the pump to uh, do some maintenance, you gotta pull it up by the delivery pipe. So it's a bit awkward, but it works and it's pretty cool. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe. I have at this point uh, over 130 videos on the ram pump, plus micro hydro, solar, and a host of other things that you may be interested in. So be sure to subscribe, notification bell, and also remember, I do have four sizes of hydraulic ram pump for sale at landhouse.com and on uh, Amazon. So check those links in the description down below. I'm Seth with Land the House, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.